Hall. Death Theory newsletter writer and chart legend Richard Russell says we uh, are in simply a bounce in a great bear market. That's what he is calling this little rally that we saw today. He's calling for the Dow to fall back another 3,000 points. Why? Well, he says, I see the Dow as the heavy side of the seesaw and the heavy side of the seesaw having tested the horizontal Dow 10,725 and having failed to climb above it, it is now heading down to the level from which the whole bear market rally began. Now, first of all, you may want to say, what? That's crazy. But Guy, you actually say, maybe we should actually listen to him. You got to give him, uh, listen, yeah. this guy's been writing Dow theory letters right. since 1958. It's the old, oldest service continuously written by one person in the industry. And he's been right a number of times. So don't discount him completely. And we had some people, not on our show, but on the network that said that 10,722 level was critical. We tested it, touched it, and then traded off since. Listen, Dow theorists, Elliott Wave people, a lot of people think this is going a lot lower. We'll see. I don't think it's going that, that low, but I'm sort of in his camp. Do the fundamentals bear that kind of scenario out, though, at this no, point? Absolutely not. I, absolutely not. We are clearly recovering. This isn't Armageddon like it was last year. And I'll say this, and I do believe in this. I know Timmy believes in this as well. If the market was to have that precipitous drop, plunge protection team. I believe in the plunge protection team. They would never I, let I that I believe happen. in that. I also believe in 6% growth and 25% of the world's economies this year. I also believe in an S&P that is diversified around the world. And I believe in corporate America that's probably never been healthier from a balance sheet perspective. I mean, these are all very powerful reasons why we could never do that, um, let alone I think valuations here are really not that unattractive. Let's say, let's just say for kicks that he's right. Pete, what would you do? You hide out in high quality stocks? You no, buy all sorts of I, I puts? Mean, I mean, what do you do? <laughs> if I actually believe this, and I don't yeah. either, but, but if I actually believe that that was the direction we were going, I definitely would be looking at some extreme positions and trying to go after puts because obviously you're going to be seeing a huge explosion and then trying to participate not only on the volatility, but on the movement to the downside. I am not seeing anything of this sort right now. Blo right. Broken clock is right twice a day, guy. This guy's been right. He's also been wrong. We have seen so many of these guys come out out and tell us it's Armageddon, we're going this way, we're going that way, all the rest of it. That's okay, but we have not seen anything yet to indicate that we need to see a 3,000 point drop. You just got broken clock. They did. You just yeah, got you broken did. clock. Two times national a day, TV you're right. Two times a day. And times you were very patriotic. I don't think you know. left out. I hate to draw right. attention to that. Very patriotic. You left out the USA Olympic team, though. Broken clock. All right. What'd they do? Uh, coming up next, <laughs> gotta move on. Is it time to